Alright, if loving you is wrong, fans, uh, first off, I watched Greenleaf this morning. I watched the preview, I got the notes. But this video needed to be done first because uh, I posted like over a dozen videos last night. Look, I was behind on editing, they're up now. Oval, Sisters, Greenleaf, there's a bunch of videos on the channel. But I'm doing this video first because no matter what I post, people are commenting, What about if loving you is wrong? Where's that show? The haves and the have-nots, we know, January 7, 2020. And don't be disappointed, there are people who want me to do more have and have-not videos. And I have more, but I'm not doing them yet because, you know, I, I, I kind of want to save them for next month. I don't know if we're going to get a minute-long trailer, so I need to kind of take the trailer we got and kind of, you know, chop it up as much as I can so I can have material over the next few weeks. But with If Loving You Is Wrong, I'll admit um, the fan anticipation is up there pretty high and I can see why, but we don't know anything yet. I, I along myself, along with other fans, we're estimating that the show might be returning March 18th, 2020, you know, like the haves and the have nots who run for a couple of months, then pass the baton to if loving you is wrong. Uh, kind of like what it did this year. Uh, we could be wrong because again, nothing's set in stone, but Personally, in my opinion, I would actually like it more if Tyler Perry did kind of separate the shows a bit instead of having them running at the same time. Now, I know he has his shows on BET now and not to mention other projects in the works for, you know, like BET Plus and uh, he's working on like an animated series on Nickelodeon. And he, I mean, obviously, Viacom, there are so many projects that he has his hand in. So we don't know exactly how much content is coming to all the Viacom networks, but when we think specifically the own network only, the haves and the have nots and if loving you is wrong are where it's at. And me personally, I wish he would just kind of spread them out where it's like one show comes on at a time. That way we don't have these four to six plus month periods of no Tyler Perry activity on the own network. So I can understand people saying, man, I want... Um, the haves and have nots to come on January 7th and I want if loving you is wrong to come on January 8th So Tuesday and Wednesday is back-to-back, you know drama I can definitely understand that but I think it would be better if he kept having have nots first You know have it have its run and then have um, if loving you is wrong because this is allegedly Well, actually it has been confirmed by several sources until they make the official announcement. This is the final season. So I think that to be fair. I think if Loving You Is Wrong should run its own time. Like I don't know how many episodes. Maybe it's a 10 or a dozen. But I think if Loving You Is Wrong should run on its own. And then it will run from what like March, April, into May, possibly June. Depending on if there are any mini breaks in between. And then the haves and the have nots takes over from like June to August or September. You know so they pretty much trade positions there. So those are just my opinions. Um, I think if Loving You Is Wrong probably won't come back until like March. No, we don't have an official release date yet. So at this time, October 30th, 2019, there is no specific date or month for the return of If Loving You Is Wrong. But it will be coming back in 2020. That has been mentioned by several people from the show. Um, so just be on the lookout. The show is returning it isn't canceled yet. <laughs> it's just that uh, the season five will be coming eventually. But for now, guys, let's just appreciate the fact that last week we got a surprise haves and have nots trailer that even I didn't anticipate coming. So let's just count our blessings knowing that number one, the haves and have nots is coming back. We got a return date. And let's let just just relax. Don't worry, because trust me, I want to see what happens in the next season as well. You know. Um, picking up where we left off with Alex and Ian and uh, with that being said I really do love the fact that uh, there is still love for the show because I feel like um, a lot of us have love-hate relationships with these series like when the show's on we want to complain about the show dragging and the characters and the acting but then when the show's gone you have you have two sides of it you have one group of people 
who say that they're done with the show, these long breaks. I done forgot what happened by the time the damn show comes on. And then when one show gets announced, other people are like, wait, 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 what about that? What about if Loving You was wrong? Where's that at? So some people are on both sides of the same coin. So let's just, you know, look out for an announcement. And guys, you know the drill. As soon as I know something, I'll be sure to let you know. But it would not surprise me if If Loving You Was Wrong won't come back until, you know, early 2020, but sometime in maybe March or April. Just my prediction. So with that being said, I hope you take a moment to hit that subscribe button. Uh, tomorrow's the last day of October. Let's see if we hit 94,000. Um, we are less than 200 away, I think. I haven't checked, but we're close. So with that being said, uh, make sure to check out my other videos that I posted. I'm not really sure about the YouTube notifications because I posted a lot at one time, but I had to get the Greenleaf videos out before the episode aired last night. And then I had to get all the Oval and Sister videos that I've been holding out on because, well, the haves and have nots trailer dropped. So this week I should be, what's today, Wednesday? So yeah, basically Thursday and Friday, I should be able to have Sister and Oval videos up, you know, pretty soon. So thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, let me know what you're most excited to see go down in the next season of Loving You Is Wrong, and I will talk to you all soon.